What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review and wear test using the new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation and I ordered this and I wanted to do a video for you guys who are interested in this foundation. As you guys know, Makeup Forever is a brand that has been around for a minute. They are an artistry based brand so they always come out with products geared towards makeup artists and artists alike. Whenever Makeup Forever comes out with a product, I'm pretty assured that it's going to be a quality product. So today I'm I'm going to be reviewing and testing out this foundation of course I have it on now but before I jump into the demonstration let's go ahead and get into the specifics of it here's what the foundation looks like it does come in a squeeze tube there is 1.01 fluid ounces of product so typical amount that comes into a foundation this foundation retails for $38 so this one claims to wear for 24 hours and it says that it is matte velvet whenever makeup forever makes a claim they mean it so it is a matte velvet foundation so this comes in 40 different colors. Makeup Forever is a brand that has always had a very diverse well-rounded amount of shades for each foundation and products that they come out with. I have the color Y405. This color matches really nice. This is the color that I wear in all of their foundations. They have different undertones of this foundation. The Y stands for yellow and if the foundation starts with R that means red. The description says that this is a breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish and breathes with skin for 24 hour wear. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration. You guys can see me apply this foundation and then I'm going to wear it around all day of course not for 24 hours not today but I'm gonna wear it around all day and do check-ins and let you guys see what it looks like throughout the day now let's jump into the foundation I'm gonna squeeze out a good amount on my petri dish taking my beauty blender I'm going to begin to apply this on the face So I will say off top, I do feel like this foundation does feel a little bit drier. Doesn't have a whole lot of slip to it. That's okay because the Beauty Blender is going to offset that. Um, it is building up pretty decently. This color is my match in Makeup Forever foundations. I think that they are consistent with their coloring. The undertone is very golden. This is pretty full coverage foundation. So you're not going to need a whole lot. Here's what it looks like with no other products applied on top. But it's smooth. I don't see any of my imperfections. It's not emphasizing any texture or dryness. I do have quite a few little breakouts. And that's really good to know. Especially since this is a matte foundation. Sometimes matte foundations can just dry weird on top of like breakouts or like dry spots. So it doesn't look like that it is smooth. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. And then I'll come back and you guys can see what it looks like. I think it looks extremely glossy glam very matte everything is laying on top of the foundation beautifully I feel like everything went on really smooth it doesn't feel heavy on the skin I do feel like it looks like a lot like I'm going out or like for a special event I wouldn't necessarily wear my makeup this made up on a daily basis but I do feel like it does look flawless like flawlessly matte everything looks good the concealer went on really pretty blush bronzer nothing skipped is not emphasizing dryness and I don't feel like it looks cakey it's just more makeup than what I normally wear I'm gonna go ahead and keep wearing it throughout the day I will do check-ins for you guys you all will see what it looks like as it wears on and I'll be back you guys can see what I look like in regular lighting I'm doing my first hour check-in and I am at one of my favorite places so I just got done eating my lips are crazy but I'm about to leave and try not to get hit by a car look at that sunset though but um I'm about to do some light shopping so you guys can follow me around and I'll check back in in a few hours Whew, I'm hot so I'm doing some light shopping at TJ Maxx. I've had this on for six hours and I feel like it's still matte-ish. I've definitely sweated. It's been a very hot day. I could stand some blotting, but we all know how that goes. I'm gonna go in Target. I just had to leave from out of TJ Maxx just simply because they're playing that loud music. So I'm going to Target. You can see like how glowy I look outside against the moonlight i think the foundation is still pretty walking through target feeling some time Ooh. excuse me man put that back for you okay oh no <laughs> okay wait okay okay 
So I'll be back to do my final check in in a few hours. Okay, kids, so I'm back to do my final check-in. It has been eight hours. I've had this foundation on my face, and my final thoughts are is that I look a little oily in my forehead and T-zone area. I am a combination skin type. And whenever a foundation is so, so, so matte in the T-zone area, it always gets so oily because my skin is trying to combat the dryness on my face. But it held up well. Aside from that, I could have blotted it off and it would still look good, but for review purposes, I like to leave things in their natural state. There's no separation there, which is good. The color is good, it did not oxidize. But I just feel like it's a heavier nighttime makeup. I would not wear this makeup during the day. I feel like it's too made up. But if you're a person who likes full coverage matte foundation, I think that it's a quality product. Makeup Forever is going to produce the quality. But it's not my personal taste as far as the types of foundations that I prefer on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's still a good foundation. It's just not one that I'm going to reach for. Here is an overview of the foundation. Here's what my skin looks like. It's held up quite nicely. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you guys wear Makeup Forever foundations? So let me know what you guys think. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys in my very next video. Smooches! Bye!